Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here, and here is your unemployment update for Monday, November 9th, 2020. No one's going to be able to say that this wasn't an interesting year, right? Find out which five unemployment and stimulus benefits are set to expire at the end of the year while you better jump on it. How you can best prepare for finding new, a new job in this crazy environment and more details on President-elect Joe Biden's stimulus package, including extended enhanced unemployment benefits and a little overview of the most interesting best news of the day, a little bit about the vaccine after this. For the best news and information to master and dominate, crush, destroy your money. No, don't destroy it. Uh, your business and your life. Stay tuned to this channel. Also, you can get $1,100. How? Subscribe, like, and put a comment. You'll be entered to win. We're going to pick a random comment and give away $1,100. So subscribe, like, and comment. That's it. It's that easy. Also, you can right now grab three free stocks. Open up an account with Webull and you get three stocks. Just fund it for $100. It's awesome. And check out our Patreon. Um, I'll give, be giving a shout out in the next video of a patron. So check it out below. But first, we've been talking for months now about the cash cliff. Yes, this cash cliff is real. It's not a character in a movie. It's not a guy named Cliff. It's cash. It's money that is quickly approaching the end of the year. And after some research, there's even more at stake than I previously thought. I'm reading like the reports that are coming in from the Fed and checking everything out and going, oh, banks are like tightening up their credit. They're like a little nervous because the free money is not going to be coming in. So we need to push that out. Well, here are the five unemployment stimu and stimulus related deadlines that expire on or before December 31st. I don't want you to miss out. Nobody that's listening to None of my group, my people, us, right? Our community is going to miss these, right? Because we're on top of it. First, an additional 13 weeks of enhanced extended unemployment benefits and they're set to ex they're set to run out. Yes, they'll be out toast done. Pennsylvania got 52 weeks though, which is pretty awesome, right? Next, as we're talking about pandemic unemployment assistance, right? will run out December 31st. That's it, kaput, finished. Uh, maybe it'll never come back again. Maybe they'll call it FUMA or FEMA or SUMA or something, but probably won't be PUA, probably be something else because the new administration will have to like get credit for something. The six weeks of weekly $300 LWA unemployment funds are due to expire December 27th. So if you haven't used those, back in September. Well, you can still use them if you're out of work today. Student loan deferrals are also set to be to run out December 31st. And finally, the last one of five, you're like, what, what was he talking about? Yeah, rent and mortgage eviction protection will expire on New Year's Eve. So that's our gift. Hey, your mortgage is due. Oh, happy new year. Yeah. With so many deadlines and uh, for vital programs just weeks away, literally weeks away, folks. You got Thanksgiving, you got Christmas, and then they're like, ah, uh, no money, right? I sure hope Congress can pass another stimulus package with ample unemployment assistance so that we can get uh, and make it through the rest of this crazy year without glaring financial issues. Even though the market's up crazy today because of the vaccine and because of Biden, um, if we don't have, if we have this kind of unemployment into next year, it's not going to stay that way. Meanwhile, with millions of Americans currently unemployed, the job market in 2021 is going to be more competitive. So put on your boxing gloves than ever before. It, people are going to be duking it out for jobs. To help you stand out from the crowd, a recent article from Forbes explains some tips and tricks to best prepare for finding unemployment in the new normal society, this new normal. Hopefully we'll get back to even more normal very soon. The first step is to get your mind right. Let go of the past, shed your uneasiness about your past jobs and forge a new path forward. Now I've employed literally thousands and thousands of people 
And I will tell you, the last thing I want to hear is about how your last boss was the worst guy on the planet. Because I think, oh, wow, what's he going to think about me? Because all I want him to do is show up and do a job. That's it. And not piss him off or piss her off. So that's literally like the scope. And please do the work, you know? So I don't want to hear how the last guy was horrible. It's just one of those things speaking from like an employer that employs, right? Like literally, that's, that's it. So if your old boss was a turd, well, just leave that in the past. And if your old job sucked, leave that in the past. You did the job and you did it well because they paid you for it, right? So just take a win on that. Take a W, not an L. Because if you come in, you sound like a loser if you say your boss was screwed and your job sucked. It just sounds bad. So just saying. This fresh start could open new doors in your professional life. So don't be afraid to ask loved ones and friends if they know another, if you know anybody that's hiring. So get the word out that you're looking, that you want to work. Hey, I would rather work than stay home and pet the dog or cat. It's getting old at this point. The dog's even going, are you going back to work? Like, literally, I, I can't even miss you anymore. Like, I used to be happy when you came home. Now you're here all the time. So, you're like, get a job. I got stuff to do. I got to sniff walls and, you know, bark. Jeez. God. Working on hand and foot with you every day? Jeez. You know, that <laughs> your dog's probably, <laughs> probably not your dog, but, you know, if I was a dog, that's probably what I was thinking. They also suggest using social media to uh, your advantage, especially through networking on LinkedIn to find opportunities where your skills will shine. Again, people that like to work around people they like will probably hire you. And if you go to a job where people like you, you probably have a better chance of staying there. I'm only saying. It's called culture. Update your resume. Yeah, nothing like an old, outdated res resume. Reach out to recruiters and other job opportunities in your area and Make as many connections as possible. Leave it open. Don't be afraid to let people know that, that you've been out of work for a while. It's the virus, right? Like, it's okay. It's okay. Hopefully, these tools can help you find employment. If you've lost a job during this crazy 2020, I hope that you lost a job that you weren't excited about only to get one that you are excited about. That would be super freaking cool. And you can best prepare by using some of those tips and the new year, your new year, will be a fresh, just awesome, awesome new year. And finally, we have details from President-elect Joe Biden. Just got off the phone with him. Okay, I didn't. Stance on extended unemployment benefits in the upcoming stimulus package. On his website, on a page titled Highlights of Joe Biden's Plan, you can go there, to support women during the crisis, more information is offered on federal unemployment funds, which is fabulous. Finally, he didn't tweet it out. There's a website. Amazing. I guess it's going to, times are changing. The website reads, quote, Biden would also work with Congress to extend the boosted unemployment benefits. And then, uh, quote, uh, they extended $600, which is awesome, right? For however long this crisis lasts. Yes. It's good to hear that $600. I'd rather overpay people than underpay. That's just my stance, okay? I like conservative policies, yes, when it comes to our money, but I don't agree with people being underserved. They pay a trillion dollars a year and have been for a very long time. Yeah, one trillion. If I, if I got a trillion dollars and I ran your government, I guarantee you I'd spend less than a trillion and I'd ask you for less. I'd cut the fat. There's no way these politicians need $3 million a year to run their offices. Are you serious? I could run my office for a million. It also states, quote, make women who lose their jobs financially whole by ensuring that they get their unemployment insurance on time and in full. Right? It's awesome. It's like bold, right? This is amazing news, and hopefully Biden can work to get another stimulus package with these vital unemployment benefits approved before the new year. And remember, Kamala Harris was a, she was a prosecutor before, so you better not mess up. Take care of those women out there. I wouldn't want her on my bad side. If you still haven't applied for the unemployment assistance, 
begin the week off right it's monday motivational monday get motivated apply for these funds just you know visit the website there's pua and there's the ui there are two different websites on a lot of states give them your employment history or lack thereof but your supporting documents let them know that you're currently out of work because of the virus the cares act said you didn't have to be looking for a job so you don't have to be looking for a job for your troubles, you could be eligible to receive a backdated unemployment check of 10 grand or more wired directly into your account. So that's pretty awesome. So who else is out in the cold, but not? Yeah, you're not out in the cold. If you're a gig worker, self-employed or independent contractor, 1099 worker, side hustler, uh, freelancer or volunteer, the program called PUA is for you, was designed for you. So don't be confused. Make sure you go get these funds. Don't miss out on your chance. The deadline is coming. Make sure you receive these incredible government unemployment benefits because it's unprecedented. The government doesn't give away money. They taketh. They don't giveth. So before they expire, make sure December 31st, you get yours and keep sharing your experience with the PUA and all of the unemployment benefits in your state so we know what's going on. I also want to cover a little bit about the vaccine. Can you believe since they've been tracking the vaccine, the flu vaccine, since like 2003, the effectiveness rate of like the flu virus that they tracked was 10 to up to high as 60%. If Pfizer is really true about their new vaccine, we're talking about 90% effectiveness is what they're saying, which is un, 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 like, it's hard to believe that that many people based on their reports, they took no government money and they say they're not going to charge for it. It's like $20 a vial to give people a vaccine. So the idea that they're going to give away 20 billion, they said by next year, they're hoping to have a billion vaccine vials. It's pretty amazing. So check out the details on that. Read the reports, read Pfizer's report. Don't believe what anybody else is telling you, but this is great news. And I hope people don't go out and party like it's, you know, 1999 and go get it before, you know, it's not a cure, it's a vaccine. It's to prevent you from getting it, not like it's cured. So please don't get that distinction. It, that's not the case. It is still just as crazy now as it was. So, you know, I'm happy that we've got some great news that the future looks so bright, so bright, and that I've got you and you've got me and I love you. So take care, stay safe, and remember, it's, we, we need to stay safe until we are safe. And yes, there's a bright future. And yes, my stock portfolio went up a lot today, and I'm very happy. Take care.